Now I'm gonna have to discipline you and you know how I feel about that! I mentioned before to do with stories to do with the paranormal, uh, people claiming certain uh, trigger words or code words were given. One such story comes from a chap, an old medium, I used to know a long time ago. His name was Horace. And he basically had a code word with a friend of his who had passed. I think it's a friend. And he claims for 25 years he was waiting for that code word. He got messages, sure, he got uh, all sorts of things, but never got that code word. Eventually, he did. Eventually, he got that code word, and they call that proof. So out of the, because this is a regular church goer, not merely on Sundays and Tuesdays, which tend to be common days with the spiritualists, but many other cases, he would go along, right? Go along to meditation groups, no one brings it up. Uh, people try and bring up things that might hold meaning. Does this have meaning for you? Does this? It's like, but still did not get that code word. This is his own story because he, came, he became a medium, obviously. And uh, after getting this code word, he thought, right, this is this is genuine. After 25 years, he finally gets the code word. I think with him, it was actually something like something silly like pink elephants or something. I can't remember now. This is a story I heard around about 15 years ago. So you'll have to, you know deal with that. But yeah, um, in any case, if that's the best you can do, and it takes so long to get that through, is that even proof? Or is that random chance? Eventually, after 25 fucking years, he manages to get from, you know, this message from the other side, basically saying, you know, this, this password, this code word, you know, a memory that is fundamental, that was agreed upon, and eventually it comes through. And the spiritualists are all like, and this, there's a few stories like this going around. Well, it got there in the end, you know, or it came through, that's proof. It's like, no, this person was clearly still going, still believing, still trying to get it over and over, getting a lot of platitudes. But they kept on going because they wanted to get this message. They wanted to prove it. They wanted to prove their point. And eventually someone actually brings through the correct phrase. Yeah, with several other people, they had similar stories, and they said they'd been waiting 10 years, or 15, or 20 years, or, you know, um, some people said they didn't wait as long, of course, when they had these particular things that were fundamental to their, uh, their loved one's nature when they passed. But a lot of it was, they had to wait for a very long time. See, quite literally, hundreds of so-called mediums in spiritualist churches, you know, going to different churches, going to different services, and having different mediums come to the different churches they went to, and eventually they'd get something which is interesting. Now, call me, call me sceptical, call, call me cynical, if you wish. That doesn't sound very impressive. You know, oh, last time I spoke to my mother, I said that she should bring up the issue to do with eggs and fish fingers. It took, it took now upon 47 years until she came through and brought that through to me. I was on my deathbed and a medium as a friend of mine brought it up and I said, I never mentioned that to you, did I? I said, no, and now I believe it's true, I'm a die happy cunt. So yeah, I just don't think it proves anything, to be entirely honest. But if it gives you comfort, if it really gives you comfort, then uh, have at it, you know, enjoy. <laughs>